sometimes we don't need After Effects to do cool stuff in Premiere Pro. So today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a dirty lens effect. This effect is actually caused by light going through a dirty lens when you're shooting with a camera. I think that this effect adds value to a shot that is dark and have a direct light in it. But it could also help 3D rendered scenes to create the illusion that it was filmed with an actual camera. Alright, so we have our stock footage here. There's a link in the description to download this file. And we're also gonna need an overlay. This is a high resolution photo of uh, some camera bouquet. I put the download link in the description, you can download it for free. This image comes from a dirty lens bundle that I created. It contains 12 different high resolution overlays that you can use for this type of effect. You can buy this bundle, links in the description. I also included a link to a great tutorial where you can learn how to create this type of overlays yourself. Alright, I'm talking too much, let's get started. So drag the stock footage here. This is gonna create a new sequence. Drag this stock footage one more time above the other. So it looks like this. And then we're gonna take the overlay and put it on top. As we can see, we have to scale down this overlay a little bit. So we're gonna go to effect controls for the overlay and we're gonna scale it to 79. Let's hide the overlay for now and continue with the stock footage at video track two. So here we're gonna apply an effect call levels and what we're gonna do right now is to make everything dark except the fluorescent light in the scene let's increase the black input so everything else except the lights disappears let's decrease the white input a little bit well something like this right minimize that and now let's apply some blur to this Gaussian blur we're going to increase the blurriness to some crazy number like, I don't know, 700. Repeat edge pixels. Maybe a little bit more like 800. Right, let's minimize that. And now we actually want to scale the whole thing. We're not going to do it here, but we're going to apply a transform effect. So let's type in transform and apply this. And we're gonna increase the scale to 120 maybe. All right, minimize that. We're gonna add another effect to this. So let's type in track, matte, key. Apply this. In matte, we're gonna select video three. Composite using, we're gonna change to matte luma. All right, nothing happened. But if we show the overlay, we can see that the bouquet starts to appear in the image here. Let's change the blending mode to screen. And we can see it much clearer now. We can actually increase the exposure. Not too crazy. Well, I don't know, something like this maybe. All right, let's play this sequence and see how it looks like. Not too bad, not too bad. We could go back to transform and play around with the scale and see how it affects the results. I think I'm gonna set it to 140. All right, I could be satisfied with this result, but let's take it a little bit further. Let's add some aberration to this. We're gonna hold down shift and select these two layers. Let's right click and uh, nest. Let's name this one dirty lens. Press OK. Now the blending mode has changed to normal. So we're going to set it to add instead. Let's apply some effects to this. Let's type in color balance and we're going to choose color balance RGB. Right. And then we're going to add another effect lens distortion. Let's minimize these presets and uh, select Lens Distortion. I'm gonna drag it to the layer here. Now we're gonna create three copies of this Dirty Lens layer. Like so. And now we're gonna change some values in these three layers. So we're gonna begin with the Dirty Lens layer in the bottom. Let's set the red to zero, green to zero. 
and then we're going to change the curvature in the lens distortion effect to minus six let's continue with the middle layer let's set the red to zero and blue to zero and the curvature we're going to set to minus four and now the last layer let's set the green to zero the blue to zero and the curvature to minus two all right let's see how it looks like now we have some aberration or RGB split going on here and it looks awesome. Let's play this and see. We could actually decrease the exposure a little bit. We want this effect to be quite subtle. Something like this. Alright, that was a really quick tutorial for you. Now, like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, I have a Dirty Lens bundle that you can buy with 12 different high resolution overlays that you can use for this type of effects. There's a download link in the description. I hope that you learned something new today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.